Hey, what's up guys? Jesse here from JP Modified. CES 2019 is upon us. It's where a lot of the new hardware comes out and is also introduced into the market. CES first, then Computex. Now those two events are my favorite times of the year, apart from Christmas and my birthday. Now there's a lot of new products coming out and is being announced this time of year. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to go to our first CES yet, but maybe sometime in the future we will. But for now, let's take a quick look at one of Thermaltake's new offerings for this year's CES. Normally when it comes to TT, we would know what products are coming out in the coming months under a strict NDA, but this one totally caught us off guard and was informed only some weeks before the new year. Now as far as I know, only one other company offers RAM along with cases, PSUs, and gaming peripherals. Now let's take a look at Thermaltake's new offering, the Water RAM RGB Liquid Cooled Memory. Here's a quick look at the ALA test bench setup we rigged up to test how the TT Water RAM kit would look. These kits are offered in 32MHz, 16GB, which is 8x2, or 32GB, which is 8x4 capacities. The memory kit offers two-way heat dissipation that you can get from the liquid that folds through the water block and via the module's heatsink convection cooling. The heatsinks have exceptionally engineered 2mm thick aluminum and high-quality thermal pads and will deliver good cooling even without the water block attached. The LED memory water block features high flow design, it's copper based and is compatible with other copper based water cooling solutions. The chips are carefully screened Hynix C die ICs. They work best with Intel and is compatible with the latest Intel DDR4 motherboards and is also Intel XMP 2.0 ready. Hynix has never really played well with AMD based platforms. As far as lighting is concerned, the TTRGB Plus software has 20 lighting options to choose from with a variety of up to 16.8 million colors in the RGB spectrum. The current state is still default RGB since we haven't formatted the M2 drive on the system yet. Please follow us on social media for the actual tests on this RAM kit in the coming weeks. The software can be downloaded for PC but is also available as an app in Google Play or the App Store for your Android or iOS mobile device. The lighting will soon be able to sync with the Razer Chroma software around the first quarter of this year. The software also works with Amazon's Alexa. However, if you prefer to sync the lighting with your motherboard, the water RAM can be synced and is compatible with Asus Aura Sync. Gigabyte RGB Fusion, MSI's Mystic Light, and ASRock's Polychrome RGB. As far as the building process, I quite honestly found the water RAM to be so easy to install. I didn't even notice that it came with a manual. I also like how the light somehow shoots a pastel-like effect. We also decided to use an all-TT setup for this test bench. I'm planning to see how far my new 9900K will go and also how my incoming RTX 2080 Ti will perform using this test bench. I'm going to replace the tubing with flex tubes soon after this video so I can easily test and swap out systems when the need arises. Now unfortunately we weren't able to shoot a video on the, the test bench that we, we rigged up. Now the reason for that is because I didn't expect it to look that good. Uh, we were rummaging through my stock room and looking for a case to you know to build in just to feature the RAM. We found an old beat up P90 there and then decided to go with a test bench look. You know now literally it was supposed to be a test bench so uh, my girlfriend and I decided to not shoot a video on the build process. But then when we were heading closer to the finish line we noticed that uh, it's the build actually looked uh, quite okay. So I'm sorry for that. So that was it. Uh, thank you to Thermaltake for sending us the samples early and uh, letting us be one of the very few people to have our hands on uh, the new product they featured. Once again, this has been Jesse of JP Modified. See you guys next week. If you followed me on social media, you probably know what I'm working on right now. Mod on.